The first thing you're going to do is start a new project. Then you're going to go and upload and upload a new image. Now browse to find the file you want and make sure that it's the SVG file. Once you have the SVG file, you're going to upload it and it'll now be in your library. You're going to select that file you uploaded and click Insert Images. After the file loads, ungroup sections that are grouped. Scroll all the way down. Anywhere you see the word grouped, hit ungroup to ungroup that section. Next you're going to select each piece and you'll notice that they're broken down into two layers. You're going to attach those two layers so that they stay together when you send the file to your map. I'll speed things up a little bit here, but you have to do this for every piece. Last few sets of pieces here and then we'll go to our map. After you hit make it, I suggest you change your material size to 12 by 24. This allows you a larger area to cut your material on and cuts down on how frequently you need to change the map. Right now we haven't grouped the pieces, so you'll just need to change the mat size for each color so that it's 12 by 24. If you end up with one or two pieces by themselves, just move them over to one of the other mats that has space. Again, we are trying to cut down on material used and time wasted changing mats. Just select whatever paper type you're using for your pattern, poster board, cardstock, chipboard, or whatever you want and hit go to have your pattern pieces cut out. You want to now save this because it'll lock in your pattern file and you won't have to attach the pieces in the future. We'll make more changes and resave it again under a different name. Next, hide the top layer of the piece to see which piece it is. This one is a toe box. We'll change the color to red and change the bottom layer to pin. Next is the collar liner and I'll make all the collar parts blue and change the bottom layer to pin. Anything that isn't fabric or liner or foam, I'm changing to red and changing the bottom layer to pin. I'll keep going until we get to something we haven't done yet. Now we're at the foam piece and I'll make that yellow and I'll hide the bottom layers. You can decide to skip the foam group later or input poster board and just cut that out for pattern pieces. So keep that all as one group.
for the lasting board will make that green. I think you understand it now and we have all of our groups so I'll fast forward a bit but notice that I'm doing this for every piece that we have. And last piece, we'll change the color and send it to make. Change your mat again and now we can cut the pieces as needed.